Collaboration is one of the things that's really in the bones of Scripps, unlike any other place that I've ever been. The faculty are truly open to reaching out to each other to find new areas of research and to cooperate to do projects that neither could do alone but can only be done by working together. One great example uh, that involves my own research is uh, I'm going to collaborate with one of my colleagues in Florida, Katrine Karbstein. She works on ribosome assembly in yeast and we work on ribosome assembly in bacteria and we've developed some methods that allow us to study this process that we can apply in yeast. The research in my lab is, is really involved again in structural biology and it's involved uh, to do with uh, HIV, uh, influenza virus, HCV, other viruses, and how the, our immune system recognizes these viruses. So we look at uh, broadly neutralizing antibodies and try to figure out how they can actually neutralize the virus by looking at the three-dimensional structures. Uh, from that information, we try to figure out how that might be used uh, for a vaccine design, such as getting an HIV vaccine or a universal flu vaccine. We collaborate with uh, many, many different departments at Scripps uh, because structural biology really touches on almost everything we do here in the Institute. Structural biology is really looking at the structure and function of biological mo molecules. We look at proteins, we look at nucleic, nucleic acids, carbohydrates, uh, lipids, and large uh, ma macromolecular complexes. So we try to understand what their structures are and how these and how they function.